All right. So, uh, do, you, do you want to say what your name is on the forums? Uh, Evil Dragon. What, what do you say? Evil Dragon. Evil Dragon. Evil from, Dragon, yeah. From the internet. Everybody from can find it. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if you're in the scene, you know the name Evil Dragon. So That's cool. If, you've been, if you know the GP2X or the Pandora, if you've heard yeah. about the Pandora, you've probably heard that name. But now you, you're, you're using this, this cool new netbook. Yes, the yes. Acer Aspire One. The Aspire One, yeah. That's pretty cool if you're uh, yeah. somewhere like here at the EFA and you need to have internet access and a small netbook. It's pretty it's cool the best network. netbook for sure, I think. Well, I think it's a very good netbook. Yeah. I don't know if it's the best. I didn't try all the others, but yeah. it's a pretty good one, yeah. But uh, it's not very small. You cannot put it in a pocket. Well, you can put it in your pocket. I, I don't think so, but um, no. well, I have no pocket where it fits. Yeah. Uh, that's where, you ha if you have heard about the Pandora... So that's what you're working on, it's a much better laptop. Uh, well, basically it's not a laptop, it's a, it's, it's hard to say, it's um, some kind of gaming device, yeah. together with internet functions and a complete running Linux in it. It has two SD card slots, it has a, a full touch screen with 800 times 480 pixels resolution. Cool. And yeah, it has a really good processor drone. It has the um, OMAP, the latest OMAP from Texas Instruments, which is a really, really good cool. CPU. They good call Cortex. this the, the Cortex. Yeah. The Cortex Revolution. The Cortex Revolution, and it's really a revolution. It's a yeah. pretty fast CPU. I've never yeah. seen such a fast CPU. You can easily browse using Firefox. You can even run uh, Quake 3 on it. And there's no slowdown. Are you saying that you have Firefox on it working? Um, we have it on the dev board, yeah. On dev board? And it, on the dev board. But how good is the Firefox on the, on the ARM processor compared to a x86 Firefox? Is there a difference for um, now? Well, only if you have a lot of flash content maybe, but that's mainly a, a memory issue. But uh, if you're just using it for browsing or uh, yeah. watching normal internet sites, there's no problem at all. No difference? No difference. Really? But, but the screen is just 4.5 inch, right? It's really a small... Yeah. How, how big is it compared? Because you actually have a prototype at home, right? I have a prototype at home, yeah. And, and you didn't take it, but you forgot it. I don't you have to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Um, you, because I, I pressed it at, yeah? at the games convention. It's about, well, that size. How, that size? That size, yeah. So... That's, that size. Um, if you know a Nintendo DS Lite, yeah? it's uh, just as big as a Nintendo DS Lite. It's about Slightly a, bigger, right? Yeah, half, half a centimeter bigger. But that's in it. fat or in in, no, or in, in, in length, wideness, in length. Half a, kind of like a Nintendo DS. Yeah. Full laptop. Full laptop. Yeah. That is the idea. Yeah, basically that's the idea. But yeah. it's not only a laptop because it has, as you can see here, it has complete gaming controls. Yeah. You have a D-pad, you have two analog pads, yeah. and you have uh, normal gaming buttons. So yeah. you can use it to play games. You can use it to. Uh, yeah. So the internet, you can use it to write some text, you can do anything yeah. with it. Can you say something about the prototype that you have? Does it have a good keyboard yet? Um, or are they still working on the keyboard? The, the, we are still working on the keyboard. The, yeah. Basically, the final case is finished, but it's basically sitting in America at the moment. I only yeah. have a prototype case, which has non-working keys, okay. and I have the working PCB. But you have a working, uh, what's it called, a uh, gamepad thing or on your prototype? Yeah, I've got the working uh, gamepad, yeah. The gamepad is okay, it's working. The gamepad is okay, and that's really fine. And the Cortex and everything is work, working right now. The Cortex is f working fine, yeah. I played some emulators and there was no slowdown regardless of what yeah. I ever ran. So, can you say something about how, what, what new emulators, the Cortex, the DSP and all that, that they have, what will it bring that others, machines don't have? Well, we just had an unoptimized build of a PlayStation emulator and it ran full speed uh, without even using the 3D hardware. So if you imagine you use the 3D hardware, you can have a really full screen, full speed PlayStation emulator. Nintendo 64 should be possible. Some are even thinking if the Dreamcast is possible. I don't think so, but... Why, why don't you think so? Um, because the Dreamcast is a really powerful system. But some developers actually say if they do a really good Dynarec coding, it should work. What do you say, Dyna what? Dynarec, that's dynamic recompiling. That means um, while the system is uh, while the, it, the system is being emulated, it, um, it recompiles basically parts of the code to make it run faster. All right. So right now you're not using the DSP and you're not using the 3D engine yet. Exactly. Not even yet. Not even yet, and everything we tried runs yeah. full speed now. You're only using the ARM for now. Yeah. 
but when you figure out how to use the DSP and the, the 3D accelerator, it's mm -hmm. going to be crazy. Yeah, well, we figured it already out. It's just not implemented yeah. in the latest kernel I have at home. Okay. But it already works, and well, a quick yeah. report will be possible yeah. in full speed. But uh, so it doesn't have HDMI out, right? It's only SVDI out. It's so SVDI out, yeah. SVDI out. So even though the hardware can could play HD video playback yeah. in, in theory, you can't really use it. I mean, you can't really see it, the results. Uh, no, you can't do that yeah. because that's not the intended. Uh, that's not what yeah. we intend with the system. But you have a high resolution screen. You have full yeah. uh, full PAL or NTSC video on the screen. So basically, you have a DVD quality on the screen. 800 times 480 yeah, resolution. Yeah. Touch. Touch screen. Touch screen. Yeah. So uh, because it has a keyboard and a touch screen and some analog pads, yeah. you can even use it as a portable Amiga. Portable Amiga. Yeah, it runs the Amiga full speed. But the Amiga is from the 80s. Yeah, but still a system very hard to emulate because it was a very well designed system with a lot of custom chips. Okay. So it's not possible the PSP version yeah. of the Amiga emulator is pretty yeah. slow. But you know if the DSP can be used to accelerate video in some ways? Yeah, uh, it, can. It, it can. I mean, uh, even though the, the whole project is open source, yeah. uh, where, uh, is that people in the community will figure it out? Or is it Texas uh, Instruments no, who have to provide the code for that? Um, it's partly. Um, yeah. There are some drivers that are built by the community and there are some drivers that are developed by TI. Yeah. Uh, not all drivers by TI are open source. There are some binary blobs um, yeah. which are included as drivers in the system. You can, you don't have the source code for them, but you can use the drivers. Okay. And if you port a, an OpenGL game, for example, there are lots, there are tons of good OpenGL games for Linux. They can all be ported. Oh yeah. For example, which OpenGL is awesome? Well, I think Torx is very, uh, yeah. a very good game. That's a racing simulation on the Linux. Um, there's Battle of Vesna that's not op using OpenGL, yeah. that's a pretty good strategy. How about game. the Quake 3 and stuff? Is that Quake 3 is possible, yeah. yeah. So that you use OpenGL and uh, yeah. is a exactly. Linux Quake 3? Yeah, exactly. And you just port and people will go crazy with that. Yeah. And drivers for all kinds of hardware, right? Could you yeah. uh, use this, this 3G module on it, do you think? Sure, we have a USB host port on that. So basically, all you need to do is plug it in. And uh, this have the driver for it, no? Yeah, this UMTS stick is a st uh, standard modern device, and so every Linux distribution has its driver. You don't need anymore. You don't need anything already. You don't need anything anymore, no. So you will have a 3D module if you want, 3G module if you want. Sure. Firefox. Yeah. In the pocket. Yeah. Messenger. 350. Internet messenger, email messenger. Uh, do, do you think it's really going to cost 350 dollars? Uh, yeah. Of 330, or what was it, the price? Well, I, I only know the price here in Germany, that's 250 euro. I don't know the exact prices for the outside yeah? yet, because I'm the main yeah? distributor here in Germany. You think, you're sure it's going to be 250 dollar, euros? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. There's no problem, I mean, it's not going to be, 250 is cheap. Yeah, for such a system. Yeah. Well, basically, some guys say it's, it's pretty expensive because it's a system without any commercial games, but others say it's pretty cheap because if you compare to other devices with the same functions, it is really cheap. All right. So do you think it's perfect, or do you, would you like to have some Model 2 with some different, you don't want to say? Well, there's no system that's ever perfect, because yeah? it always depends on what you want to do with it. Yeah? If anybody wants HDMI out, for example, yeah. it doesn't have it. On the version so, 2, there might be a HDMI. How about a 5-inch screen instead of 4.3? Maybe there could have been a space for that. Um, well, if they, that, they, if the they made the smaller uh, uh, speakers. No, it's, it's just it's not only the speakers, it's also um, the bevel outside. Yeah? It's not possible to have a smaller, uh, a bigger screen in there yeah. without making the whole device bigger. And we didn't want yeah. a bigger size device because you should easily fit it in your pocket. Nice. But uh, how about the keyboard? Is that possible to make it bigger or is it going to be the maximum? Uh, well, if you want, you can use a Bluetooth keyboard or a USB keyboard if you like. Because it's going to have Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth and it has wireless LAN. Cool. So surfing yeah. is possible. And the battery life, that's the most amazing. That's pretty amazing. We were surprised by ourselves. Um, we just had a full burn-in test running at 500 megahertz. Um, that kept running for about eight hours and a half. So. Basically, if you're using it for normal stuff, it can easily go up to 12, 13, 14 hours. What do you think about browsing on the internet? How much do you think it might be? It's pretty hard because it depends uh, on how good your uh, yeah. uh, 
Wi-Fi is. It's definitely longer than your Acer or Aspi One. Well, yeah, that's about two hours, I think. Two hours, so um, for it sure it's longer it than that. Depends, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection. If you have a very weak connection, you need a lot of power, yeah. and then the battery life is reduced dramatically. Well, if, if you, you think, have a very good connection, yeah. there's no problem. If you use the USB Vodafone thing? I have no idea how much power it currently draws, yeah. so I can't say anything about that. Do you think there might be a USB dongles to record TV to all these crazy things, you know, like DVR well, there dongle? Are dongles out there. Yeah. There are a lot of dongles out there, and if somebody pours the software on the driver, it's possible. DVBT uh, tuner, Should be a all problem. these things. There's video for Linux, and just do a port, and it runs. Cool. So when? Uh, did you say already when? Um, I didn't say that yet. Uh, yeah. The pre-orders will start on September the 13th and we will ship uh, sometimes in mid-November. And the company doing all this? What do you say? Um, Pandora, Open Pandora, well, the moment or? it's Open Pandora Limited, yeah. On openpandora.org Pandora is the website and... Yeah, and, and the is the Engineers Pandora. all over the world, or how does it work? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Have, the main engineer is sitting in Canada. Oh, yeah? Yeah, then we have uh, one of the most important person, that's Craig from the boards, and he's sitting in UK. UK. Then there's me here in Germany. We also have one in uh, Turkey who did uh, source a lot of the parts we needed. That's just amazing. I mean, you're just spread out all over the world like that. Individuals, yeah. like yeah. far away from each other, right? Yeah. Well, we met... How often do you meet each other? Um, well, uh, basically the three main persons, that's Fatih, Craig and me, we met in Korea. Oh, yeah? While visiting Game Park Holdings. And then uh, we somehow had the idea we could build our own system, which has much more than the GP2X. Seriously, that's how you thought? Yeah. You not, built your own system? Yeah, it's not meant as a replacement system because it has a different uh, user base. Yeah. But it should be a system which uh, can also emulate computers or computers and eager and do some web stuff and stuff like that. Well, and then the idea was born. And then yeah. we followed the idea and we figured something out. And that's pretty amazing started. open source uh, project yeah. right there. Later, but you need to have a lot of investment from somebody. I mean, somebody is yeah. behind to invest in stuff yeah. well, and to make sure it works and we stuff. We have some investors. A lot yeah. of the investors are coming from the uh, community, from the open source community. That's also where we found our hardware developer. Michael yeah. did a really great job on the board and on the community design. I'm really impressed by his work. Um, <laughs> we found him on the board. You just find the guy on the board? He's yeah, doing all the hardware yeah, work. Yeah, we, we had the idea and then somebody said he's already building and he already tried building his own yeah. handheld and something like that. And when we thought, hey, we got to get this guy. If he already built his own handheld, he can help us. And now he did really the uh, most part of the Pandora. And then for the case design, we have also one from the community that's Dave C. Yeah. And he already did some good mods for the, for the GP tricks, like the D-pad mod stuff like that and well we took him for the case and if he says it's perfect I believe it is perfect and he did a per I mean you have a perfect gaming controls yeah, yeah. that's really a good one yeah and that's what they've seen design yeah. it's pretty good in there you have a two two uh, an joystick two analog controls and one digital D-back so that's enough for everyone you can use these for homebrew games or for games like play and stuff like that you can use them for, for um, PlayStation animation and you can use these for standard classic games which are better played with a normal D-pad. Nice. Or you can use USB to connect your own joypad. And just uh, one more thing, so you uh, you got the Texas Instrument people to talk with you, you talk with them, you you did a lot yeah. of talk with them, and yeah. they are... Yeah. Really, how's the connection with them? Um, it's really, they are really uh, productive. It's really good to work together with them. They help you and we help them a bit. Yeah? Um, and they think you're cool. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I haven't met them, but I, I think yeah? so, yeah. Because uh, what I heard that some people say is that the Texas Instrument people are a fan of this project and they yeah. help and all that, and they, yeah, they, they are, they the really employees, helpful. they are, you know... Yeah, they are really yeah? helpful, and yeah? I, I think they, love, uh, they like the project. Yeah? Because it's a project nobody's ever seen before. Yeah. And you can also work together with the Beagle board people. Yeah, because it runs the same hardware. Uh, we exchange the Linux stuff, the source card, Cool. Um, that works fine. All right. Thanks a lot. So okay. next year uh, you're gonna be sp key keynote speaker at CES. Might be, yeah. <laughs> after just after uh, Steve Jobs. Yeah. Coming with a new laptop, pocket laptop. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Thanks a lot.